Reginald Dunlop is a predator. He had nothing inside of him but evil. There had been emotional abuse, financial abuse, verbal abuse, gaslighting. With a victim of domestic violence, telling them to leave is actually the exact opposite of what we should be saying because they're already in a power and control dynamic and to have a friend or family come in and demand that they do something will have them dig down even more. Everything in this case was done right and that's part of what makes it such a tragedy. She was doing everything she could to get out of that relationship and she was almost there. He actually killed the only person that the evidence showed that loved him. This is the story of Lauren Elizabeth Barth Charles, a radiant soul who illuminated the lives of those around her. She was more than an accomplished lawyer, more than a daughter, more than a friend. Her journey was one of curiosity, boundless spirit, and a heart full of kindness. Lauren was married to Reginald Dunlap Jr., a relationship that held both joy and hidden turmoil. But tragedy struck on March 7, 2021, as Lauren's light was tragically extinguished, leaving a community shattered. As the investigation proceeded a devastating truth came into light, reminding us of the dark reality that is often kept hidden from the outside world. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Silver Spring, Maryland, a city where the fabric of life is woven with everyday moments that hold both joy and sorrow. In the heart of Silver Spring, we meet Lauren Elizabeth Barth Charles, a woman whose presence radiated with brilliance and kindness. Lauren was not merely a lawyer, she was a beacon of light that illuminated the lives of those around her. Her professional journey led her to the bustling heart of Washington, D.C., where she flourished as an attorney and project manager for the Justice Department. But her story extended beyond the titles and degrees. Lauren's personality was a symphony of traits, a blend of kindness, thoughtfulness, and an ever-curious beard. Her warmth could light up a room, her laughter was an infectious melody, and her adventurous spirit led her to explore the world through pages of books and the flavors of global cuisines. She was not just a friend, she was a confidant, a guiding light, and a pillar of strength to those who had the privilege of knowing her. Her journey was filled with milestones, earning degrees from renowned institutions like Johns Hopkins University, Pratt Institute, and the University of Oregon School of Law. Hi, I'm Lauren Charles. Um, I'm a graduating 3L at Oregon Law. Um, I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. Her radiant spirit carried her to heights she shared with her loved ones, all while leaving an everlasting imprint on the lives she touched. In 2016, she met a guy named Reggie online, and they went on a date. Lauren couldn't contain her excitement, promptly calling a friend after their first date. Lauren was a brave and positive person who believed in finding the right partner, so her friend supported her, even though they weren't sure about Reggie. He seemed quiet and not very interesting. When inviting Lauren to social gatherings, Reggie's presence was sporadic, and he rarely engaged in conversation. There were further red flags in their relationship. Reggie resided with his mother, and Lauren never had the opportunity to meet her she could only visit Reggie at her own residence. The stability of Reggie's employment remained uncertain, and Lauren discovered that the address he had provided led to an empty lot during a surprise visit. Even though Lauren's friends had doubts, they wanted her to be happy, so they didn't interfere when Lauren and Reggie got married in 2019. Lauren's dad, John, was worried too, but he didn't say much because he thought Lauren knew what she was doing. The wedding itself raised suspicions among Lauren's friends, as Reggie had few attendees at his bachelor party, with most of the guests being Lauren's male friends and her friends' husbands. However, Lauren's family understood her independence and chose not to get involved or interfere. But in 2020, during the pandemic, Lauren realized that Reggie was taking advantage of her. He was manipulating her, isolating her from her friends, and making her feel like he was the only way she could have children. He also did things like putting up wedding photos around the house when Lauren didn't want them there. Lauren even started fearing for her safety and began sleeping with a knife in her room and buying mace. In October 2020, Lauren confided in a friend, revealing Reggie's infidelity and her intention to leave him. Her friends decided to do a background check on Reggie and found out Reggie had children he hadn't told her about. Lauren decided Reggie had to leave her house by the end of March, but she was unsure about what to do because of legal issues with eviction. Reggie, on the other hand, was spreading false information and trying to control her. 
Lauren confronted Reggie, informing him that he needed to vacate the house by the end of March. Her understanding was that eviction was complicated due to the moratorium in place, and she hesitated to seek a protective order, making it hard for her to make decisions and move on with her life. Sadly, Lauren's decision to distance herself from Dunlap in March 2021 was a pivotal moment that altered her life forever. On that fateful day in March 2021, the tranquility of Silver Spring was shattered by a horrific event that sent shockwaves through the community. Within the walls of Lauren Charles and Reginald Dunlap Jr.'s home, a chilling crime unfolded that would haunt the neighborhood. The lifeless body of 40-year-old Lauren Charles was discovered within the walls of her Silver Spring home. The circumstances of her death were initially shrouded in mystery. Authorities arrived at the scene to find no signs of forced entry and no indication of an outsider's intrusion. The unsettling realization emerged that the danger might have originated from within the very confines of the home itself. As the investigation unfolded, the chilling details began to emerge. The evidence painted a haunting picture. An innocent pillowcase that is a symbol of comfort was transformed into a weapon of torment. A Buddha statue which is usually a representation of serenity had become an instrument of violence, leaving a life extinguished. The puzzle pieces came together, revealing a sinister sequence of events. Lauren's attempt to distance herself from her husband, Reginald Dunlap Jr., had set off a cascade of fury. Their once shared haven had become a scene of unspeakable horror, marked by brutality that defied comprehension. The crime scene was a disturbing picture of desperation, a twisted effort to hide the truth. Bleach was used to erase evidence, the bedroom was left in disarray, all in a chilling attempt to deceive. However, the truth couldn't stay hidden. Suspicion fell on Dunlap as the officers noticed that his hands were stained with blood, however there was no sign of any injury. The court discovered that Dunlap had not only taken her life, but also tried to hide the evidence and make up a story by going to church. However, the evidence showed that Lauren had passed away the night before Dunlap went to church, proving his attempts to create an alibi were false. Testimonies revealed that Lauren had decided that the marriage had to end. She had given Dunlap until the end of the month to leave the house, which she owned. Her family and friends had seen the signs of trouble and had been supporting her as she moved towards ending the relationship. Inside the courtroom, things got intense as lawyers tried to show what happened. The prosecution team told a scary story of what went down. It was a story that made everyone remember how scared Lauren must have felt in the house that day. The bad things that happened were hidden until that extreme evil day, and soon everything changed. Reggie was arrested and later found guilty of his wife's murder. Debbie Feinstein, a prosecutor from the Montgomery County Special Victims Division, spoke about the important role that friends and family play in such situations. The best kind of help that you can provide them is to wrap support around them, encourage them to get professional help to go to places like the Family Justice Center here in Montgomery County. Because with a victim of domestic violence, telling them to leave is actually the exact opposite of what we should be saying. Because they're already in a power and control dynamic, and to have a friend or family come in and demand that they do something will have them dig down even more. She mentioned the different types of abuse Lauren had suffered emotional, financial, verbal, and gaslighting, where Dunlap would make her believe things that weren't true. Later on, the judge made a decision. The evil man, Reginald Dunlap Jr., got in trouble for the murder of Lauren. The judge said he was wrong and had to pay for what he did. People in the town were a mix of sad and glad when they heard this news. It didn't bring Lauren back, but it felt like justice was finally being done. After all this was over, people talked to Lauren's friends and family. They told stories about Lauren and how great she was. It was really sad because her life was taken away when she had so much more to give. Her dad, John Charles, was really sad. He talked about how a dark force, like a bad thing, took Lauren away from them. He wished it never happened. The heartbroken father has a message for everyone. He wants families and friends to step in when they see someone struggling to face the truth in tough situations. John Charles Jr. spoke out after a court found Reginald Dunlap Jr. guilty of killing his daughter Lauren Charles. John Charles Jr. described Dunlap as a dangerous person, saying that he was full of evil. Reginald Dunlap is a predator. He had nothing inside of him but evil. He couldn't believe that Dunlap could do something so terrible to the one person who truly cared about him. A silver spray man is set to spend 55 years in prison 
all for murdering his wife. This is Reginald Dunlap. He's 45 years old. A jury found him guilty back in March. Now, prosecutors say he killed his wife, Lauren Charles, back in 2021. Investigators found her body inside of this home right here, the couple's home. Now, I have to warn you right here, details of this killing are extremely disturbing. Investigators believe Dunlap forced a pillowcase down his wife's throat and beat her to death with a Buddha statue. They say he poured bleach on her body and ransacked their bedroom to make it look like a break in. The father of Lauren Charles spoke after today's sentencing. Lauren is living within us. She's still with us. She has an essence that will never um, disappear. It, it, the physical taking of her life was an incident that galvanized love and um, I guess a commitment to us sharing her light with others. The story of Lauren Charles is a painful reminder that tragic events like these shouldn't happen. It's a stark lesson in how domestic violence can rob someone of their life, potential, and happiness. What occurred to her is a heart-wrenching reminder that danger can hide behind closed doors, making it even more crucial to be aware and take action. Could this tragedy have been prevented? It's a haunting question that lingers. Signs were there, noticed by loved ones, but abusive relationships often trap victims in a web of control. However, more awareness and intervention might have made a difference. Her family, friends, and the community are left grappling with a profound loss. Memories of her laughter and warmth are now cherished treasures. But amidst the tragedy, there's a call to stand up against abuse. It's a call to be watchful, to support those trapped in toxic relationships, and to create an environment where victims can seek help without fear. May her family continue to heal, and may they find peace that has been snatched from them. My condolences to her friends and family. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.